Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So unless you've been living under a warm or rock, uh, you've most likely heard of the Nagash and uh, End of Times. I think it is. Uh, I think it's like an expansion or like a campaign book that's come out for Warhammer Fantasy. And the whole Warhammer Fantasy like scene has gone a buzz with it. It's a pretty big thing. So I'm just going to go over some of the models that have been released with it. Um, there was two of them just announced or released today or up for pre-order today. I'm not sure. I haven't really had a good look at them yet. So I'm just going through, going to go through all the new ones that come out with it for this campaign. Uh, I'm going to split it into two parts because I, I pretty much am going to ramble on about this and just talk a little bit. So first off you have Nagash himself, the Supreme Lord of the Undead. Um, I don't know a whole lot about Nagash, just about what it says in the Skaven army book, which I'm still reading the fluff this, so um, I just know about the Skaven making the blade to kill him and everything, so um, not a whole lot. I know like before that he was with like the Tomb Kings or fighting some um Tomb Prince or something like that. I don't know, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and go into it. Let's just have a look at the model instead. Yeah, so like, he's pretty big. Like the skeleton guy in the bottom is tiny compared to the size of this model. And I can't zoom in anymore because the screen will go you can see like the lines from and everything. The screen will go a little bit funny. Um yeah, so like his staff pretty much Ties them in with the Tomb Kings type of stuff. Like it looks like something like you see on the Tomb King army. And I know nothing about Tomb Kings. Tomb Kings. So if I'm making mistakes, which I probably will, uh, just please excuse me. Um. Yeah, like look, his headpiece is massive. Like what? Another really cool thing is like his belt there. It's all like skulls along it, and then like the part coming down along it from here. It's like a big spine. Which is pretty awesome, and plus that staff is really big as well, because there's the top top of it is there, and it goes right down to like probably his knee, which is pretty long. And then yeah, like on the other knee, maybe if I I will zoom in a little bit, it's like on his kneecap, it's like a skeleton torso with a head. So that's how like big this guy is. Yeah, I think I can get away with that. Zoom in that far. Um, then you have like these tentacle things coming out the back, it's like spines. I don't know what the story is with them yet. And then you have like the spirits floating or keeping them up afloat, which are pretty awesome. And um, like that's probably like really thin plastic. Well, not thin, but like it's not a whole lot of it. And that is keeping the whole model up in one piece, so it's really, really well made. Um, so it's a just have a look at what other options you can get with it now. Um, well, other pictures of it. So there's the back of them. There's the tentacles I was talking about. They kind of look like tentacle spines or whatever. And you do get a look at the back of the head thing. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Like a hat yolk. And then you get a closer look at the spirits on it. They're pretty awesome. I really do like them. I think they're really good. You need a closer look of his face. Like he's pretty much all skeleton. Like I don't know whether like if he takes some special form in in uh in the fluff books or anything. But he's pretty much like just all skeleton. And then they have all like the skeleton parts and that makes up the rest of the hat thing. I I can't think of the name his head something, but the name of not Trying to think of the name of that hat thing is driving me mad. Um, what else is here? I get a closer look at the at the staff he has, the Tomb King type one, which is pretty awesome. There's really, really good detail in it. And there's his hand holding it. It's all bone, like all skeleton. And then have a look at the spell book, which even has a spirit coming out of it, which is pretty cool. And um, and then you get this. No, I didn't notice this until I was looking at it right before I start recording. But his sword, like I don't know if that's meant to be like flesh or something, but it has like stitches coming out of it, or like with like stitches going along it. And then like a gem and some, I don't know if that's like maybe a piece of metal at the end of it. But them stitches look really, 
really cool. And then like you have like the middle of it. I don't know what part you call the sword. But instead of having like just two metal pieces coming out with a design or something on it, you have like two skeleton torsos on a head. Like this this model just like kind of reeks of this guy being a total badass. And then this must be an alternate sword you can put on him. Um yeah, because it has a hand on it, so you must be able to hold this one. Which kind of looks like the magic power running through it. Looks pretty cool. And there's his belt again. It's all made of like skeleton skulls. And then you see the stitching as well. Going through the stomach. So there is a bit of flesh on him. I don't think he's all skeleton. Um, and just look at some of the books. They're all tied in. Some of them with chains. That kind of remind me of like the Terry Pratchett book. Uh, I think it's Rincewind. He gets the book and it's all chained in and he's he reads it or something and all the spells going to him. Um yeah, so that's Nagash. Um hopefully I didn't ramble too much on about him. Hopefully I didn't make a bit of sense. Okay, so on to the next one. And it's Manfred von Karsten. So um Manfred's pretty well known in the for being in the VC army. Um this is the one that I've heard a lot of people aren't really liking it. Um I think they're saying they just don't really get it. I think it's you know it's okay. Um The man for the model is pretty cool. His cape is awesome with the spirits coming out of it. But a lot of questions over this thing. Um I don't really like it too much. I think the skull is pretty cool. Well, not the skull, the head. It has the same kind of features that you'd see with the terror guy, so it's pretty cool. Um, and the inside of it. Maybe if I can get a better picture on this. Yeah, maybe you can see it there. It's all skulls inside of it. It's kind of like that's what it's made up of. Um, let me get this one back. Yeah, and I, I just don't like the armor on it. I don't like anything that's kind of like some fantasy creature like this covered in armor. And covered in all metal. You know, it's the tail that's keeping it up as well. And then you have like the spirits on the bottom. Um, going around with it, so. They're always nice to have on the bottom of it. But to me, it just looks like a big jumping dog. I'm not particularly fond of this one a whole lot. Um, yeah. But Manfred on it is, is it Manfred? I keep forgetting the name. Manfred is pretty awesome and he has this big long staff. No, I don't know if he has a staff in the VC army. Or some magic weapon like that. But that's pretty awesome, it's really long. And it kind of curves at the end of it. And there's a better picture of the skull. And then Manfred in as well. So uh, next one is... Oh, let me just show my... Arkan, Arkan the Black, I think that's pronounced Arkan. Uh, this one I really like. I think. Uh, I'm not fond on, not too fond of Toon King stuff. Um, it's not just that I don't like him, it's just I've never really looked at him a whole lot. But this guy looks pretty awesome. I really like the skull on, on the, the head of this creature. I think the bone colours with it looks nice. I know there's a bit of metal armour going along it there, but the rest of it looks pretty awesome. Um, it's pretty much like the same type of thing, or the same type of shape as the Manfred one. But I think it just looks a lot nicer with the bone colours on it. And with like, I think it really suits the Toon King guy on it. You know, holding like that banner. Well, I think it's a banner anyway. But whatever it is, it looks... I think it suits it a lot more. Let's get a closer look at some of them. Yeah, there's a better picture of the head. I think that head is pretty awesome. It's really cool. And there you have the skulls in that for him. The ones with green ones. I can see why they wouldn't go with like white skulls because the rest of it looks like bone. Um, closer up look of the Tomb King skeleton guy. He looks pretty butch in this. Like his body, his upper chest looks pretty big. Um, 
and just the staff thing. And I don't, I don't have a clue what that is. I don't know what magic they have. I think they have. I know they have light magic. I think. But other than that, I don't have a clue. I don't know what that really represents. Um, and then the last of the trio, then that kind of I have Manfred, the Tomb King guy, and then you have this. Um, I don't know who this one is. I don't know much about the fluff. Neferada. I know she's like a vampire. Well, it says the fluff on the bottom of her. Just a little bit of the information on it. It says that she's a uh, she was a man for a long time ago, and she fled and he was getting defeated or something like that. So I think she's kind of like back at his side. Now that this one is yeah, it's okay. I'm not really. I just I pretty much just ignore this one if I ever had to get him. Um, let's get a close look at this one. These pictures. Alright, that doesn't want to work, so we'll just. Okay, so here we go. Bit of a technical difficulty there. Um, her hat thing is pretty massive. When you look at it this close, it looks a little bit ridiculous. Um, actually, from the side, it looks a lot better. From the front, it looks a bit. Massive, but from the side it looks a bit better. It's still pretty big. Uh, the staff thing she has is pretty cool. Um, yeah, the kind of purple and reds color go pretty nice. And there's the head of this creature. It kind of looks like it's the blinkers that you'd see on a horse. Which you know, it's something different from the other two. So it's like it's okay. I don't mind that one. It's not bad. But I think this the Tomb King guy one is the one that's the best. Um, yeah, and then on the bottom you have the spirit guys as well. So um, so yeah, so that's them three guys. Uh, I'll end it with part one on that because I think I'm after going on a bit too long. So you have Nef, Neferada, uh, Ark and the Black. Tomb King guy, I give this guy my vote. I think this guy is pretty cool. And you had Manfred. And then of course, you, of course, you can't leave out Nagash himself, the big eighty-five euro rocket. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think of them for. Um, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Yeah, if you, everyone will have their own opinion on this. Um, if anyone has any of these or has any of the books, like, just leave a comment. And let me know what they're like as well. Because I really like to know what they're like as well. Um, yeah. So, so stay tuned for part two. There's three more to go through. And uh, I'll see you guys in that one.